Dravidian architecture attained the zenith of its development under the Chola dynasty in the 10th and 11th centuries. The Cholas were great temple builders. They built numerous stone temples throughout their kingdom. Till the end of the 10th century, the buildings were not very large. The temple of Vijayalaya Choleshwara is one of the finest examples of the early Chola style. It has the unusual arrangement of a circular shrine within a square prakara. Above them rises the Vimana, the sanctuary tower in four diminishing stories. Around the main temple are seven sub-shrines built of stone and resembling the main temple in essential features. This arrangement was typical of the early Chola period. The temple of Nageshwara at Kumbhakonam is remarkable for the sculptures found in the niches of its outer walls. are tall, slender and pleasing. The ornamentation is delicate and intricate. The temple of Koringanatha represents the next stage of evolution in Chola architecture. All the sculptures are in very high relief and of fine workmanship. another early Chola temple complex, notable for the novelty of its architecture. Of the three Vimanas, forming the central shrines amidst a group of sub-shrines, only the central and southern ones have survived. The principal shrines have been conceived as Padmakoshas, one of the lowest mouldings simulating the petals of a full-blown lotus. Among the sculptures on the walls of the Vimana are several forms of Shiva. King Rajaraja's rule, many temples of moderate size sprang up in different parts of his growing empire. One of the most remarkable is the Tiruvalishwaram temple. sculptures are of great interest for the iconography of the period.
The Brihadishwara Temple at Tanjavu is a landmark in the evolution of the building art in India. It is the largest, the highest and the most ambitious production of its kind hitherto undertaken by Indian builders. Built by Raja Raja in 1010 AD, this masterpiece in temple architecture also marks the zenith of evolution of the Vimana, measuring more than 200 feet in height. The Nandi Mandapa contains one of the largest monolithic bowls known in South India. The whole temple, from the heavily molded parts of its high basement to its finial, is a magnificent example of solidity combined with proportion and grace of form. The temple of Gangai Kondachulapuram, the creation of Raja Raja's son Rajendra, evidently meant to excel its predecessor in every way. Erected about 1030 AD in much the same style as Tanjavu, largest of their kind in South India, these Dwarapalas suggest a parade of power. The ornate style of the sculptures marks an emphasis on the Gandhara aspect, as King Rajendra took special pride in bringing Ganges water to his capital as tribute from the kings of the north whom he had defeated in battles. In this very telling sculpture, Rajendra places himself humbly at the feet of Shiva to receive the laurels of victory from the god himself. This sculpture is a great masterpiece of the Chola art. Darasuram is probably the richest Chola temple, both in decorative exuberance and artistic finish. Here, there are excellent sculptures, both miniatures and large ones, to illustrate the late phase of Chola art. This exquisite carving of damsels with their garments slipping off is a sculptor's dream. with a wonderful suggestive note of Nitya Vinoda, eternal dance and music. Thank <laughs> you. 
examples of late Chola sculptures are seen in the niches of the Gopurams, the gateways at Chidambaram. These dance panels from the Gopurams at Chidambaram illustrate the dance modes described by Bharata in the Natya Shastra. Here is a clear impression of dance during the heyday of art in the Chola period. important temple belonging to the Cholas. The dark interior passage around the sanctum of the Brihadishwara temple is the repository of the most comprehensive set of Chola murals, discovered in 1930. The legend of Sundaramurti is among the themes depicted. sculpture of the Cholas holds a unique place in the field of art. It was in the kingdom of the Cholas that the greatest Indian works of art in metal were made by a school of bronze casters which has not been excelled in the world. and famous of all Hindu icons, the great image of Nataraja in the cosmic dance is intimately associated with Chola bronzes. the mighty Cholas is gone. The art they created lives on. <laughs> 